There has been some drama online concerning localization in video games, specifically with the Like a Dragon series and the new entry, Infinite Wealth. Forever now, a certain group of people have always been against localization in anime, games, etc. They claim that it is wrong for something such as Japanese games to be localized because we don't receive the proper, full Japanese experience such as their culture or the full intent of the scene. Sure, there have been some localizations or improper translations in some media. I won't say that it has never happened. For manga, I have seen wrong translations. Of course, it happens a lot with manga. But for this instance, the people attacking Sega right now are claiming localizers are pushing an agenda. First off, let's start with the definition of localizing and what video game localization is. The definition for the word localize is to make local, to keep something in a definite place. So, now we know what the word localize means. Now, video game localization is to prepare a product for a market outside of the original publishing. A very important note to make. Localizers are to create an experience like the original game, with of course to keep in mind certain subjects that may have to be slightly altered due to the audience. There are some things that may not be culturally understood. References, jokes, etc. are stuff that are changed sometimes due to certain things just not being known outside of the region. I will say again, of course there have been silly changes over the years with other games or media that aren't really offensive, but I'm not here to talk about the lo localization of history. I mainly want to discuss what the drama has been surrounding Sega and the Like a Dragon series localization. Sega made a post of an article discussing how localization works and how they go about translating a game to a broader audience. And, oh man, <laughs> did this post really upset people. Uh, reading over this article, I do not see the issue with it at all. Uh, it just is explaining their process and how localization is as good as ever in the current year. They even state back in the 90s it really wasn't the best. Remember, this is concerning the Like a Dragon games. The localization often focuses on politics, alcohol, drugs, and religion. Of course, cultural changes as well. The executive producer of the Like a Dragon series, Masayoshi Yok Yokoyama, states that many representations which are normal in Japan in the first Like a Dragon games are no longer acceptable today, says Masayoshi Yokoyama, the series executive producer. We ask our teams in the United States and Europe to read the game's script, and they let us know if they see things that wouldn't be acceptable in their country, which makes sense, and pay attention to that sentence in the first Like a Dragon games, All right? really understand that sentence. <laughs> He's talking about the old games and them not aging well in certain aspects, which you can definitely say about Western media as well back in the day. 100%. Of course, they're going to go back and change things, just like we do over here, just like a lot of places and countries do. They go back in the past and change some things that just do not age well. Anyways, if you want to check out the comments for yourself from this post, feel free, but it is really infuriating. And to see some of those replies literally RPing as Japanese people to trick people is just so weird. I replied to this tweet, I, I quote retweeted it, and so many people were just harassing me for saying localization is good. Uh, they were just saying slurs at me, uh, calling me a colonizer. <laughs> You know, yeah, uh, I had to go private and delete the tweet or else I don't know what these people would have done. They're, they're, they are literally insane uh, and I didn't want to take any more chances. And also at the time I was worried. I'm like, oh God, did I, did, did I say something offensive or wrong? But I didn't. Everyone made sure to tell me that. <laughs> Some popular streamer also covered this article and it made things worse. I will not name the streamer, but you know who. Sega then also post something after that article, I think maybe a day or two after the localization article, uh, they posted the customer, the Sega customer harassment policy. Basically it says that customers have been harassing the employees of Sega 
and it got so bad that they had to address it like this. And again, the replies are stupid. I was just a random person commenting on the situation, and I got tons of hate for it. So I can't imagine being the employees who work for Sega and what was being sent to them. No matter what, it's unacceptable. Being an asshole is not criticism. In the comments, they will say that they were just criticizing them. No. <laughs> they are harassing people. Uh, the replies will just make you feel sick. They have huge entitlement. Now, we will move on to the most important part of this all. The man himself, Yokoyama, the executive producer uh, of Like a Dragon, comments on the localization. <laughs> I woke up to his tweets, and it brought me pure joy. I was grinning, and I, I couldn't stop. He states, about localization, something seems to be coming across the wrong way, but we don't change the original Japanese content and localization. We have checked for unintended derogatory or discriminatory expressions, religious issues, etc., and we fix it in the original script. In the original script. In other words, there is no difference between the Japanese and international versions. I mean, that's all you need to hear. <laughs> but I laughed so loud. It's just the best feeling in the world when you are right about something. Or like, you know you're right about something. And someone just proves to you that you are right. It's a good feeling. He also says, besides, the person in charge of localization is also Sega. RGG and Sega are friends. If you can't believe that, you can't make games. LOL. <laughs> uh, he really is just being sassy here. I love it so much. It, it had me... <laughs> giggling I, I remember i was when i read those tweets i got in my car and i was just smiling the way back home like yes i'm <laughs> i'm right I'm, i just it, it feels so good a very important part of the thread too is him saying that japanese ethics are just as strict and actually a hundred times more strict than westerners there are changes that happen within even before localizers get their hands on it this stuff is approved internally they make sure it is all okay with when localizers do their thing, to give the most authentic experience they can. He even states in a tweet little before this thread, Although the translation for itself is something done outside the company, the final checks and corrections to ensure that the dialogue and phrases are consistent with RGG are done internally. Recently, RGG Studio has had creators from various countries working there. They approve of the final message that is getting across. But of course, you see the response to that. And now weirdos are saying Yokoyama is just woke, like Westerners now. Uh, I don't think they understand how the gaming industry or any entertainment industry works for that matter. Uh, but you know what? Who cares? Infinite Wealth is doing so well. Obviously, this little hate campaign isn't working and the sales are only increasing. So the product we are getting with like a dragon is the most authentic it can be there are articles of i've seen of like a journalist they obviously are are against localization um and they made a comment about the very 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 slight changes to dialogue um in chapter one of infinite wealth about the whole seiko being a strong woman, and that what Ichiban did was wrong, uh, if you know the context. And I looked at the screenshots they posted, and that Japanese translation is literally saying the exact same thing as the localized version. I mean, sure, uh, the English is a little more drawn out, um, but the message is still there. It's, it's conveying the exact same message. I'm sure people will not like this video, uh, but it's okay. It does not matter. It doesn't even matter what the actual Japanese producer says that will change their mind. They've already decided that they don't like it. I, I didn't really want to talk about the drama. You know what? I, I felt like the passion for it. After receiving all that hate and then him tweeting that, I'm like, yep, I have to talk about this. Because guess what? I was right. Simple as that. 
I just wanted to say mostly at the end of it all, just don't worry. The experience we have been getting since Yakuza 0, which is stated uh, in one of his uh, tweets, it has been the genuine experience. Because I did try to be civilized with people. I did, but it didn't matter. People were going to say what they were going to say. Um, I'm not going to tweet about it anymore. Uh, well, <laughs> I will try not to tweet about it anymore. But this will hopefully be the last time I talk about this. Uh, I'm really tired. I think I'm getting sick because I just went to a convention. And I don't feel good. But I really wanted to talk about this. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts, and I will see you later. Thank you.